Hi, my name's Lily Nath Fitzgerald. Um, you want to know something about me? Well, I'm a Scandinavian uh, stripper, that's my occupation, but don't think that I'm not smart. I also have a degree in making sandwiches and interpretive dance. Anyway, I'm in love with whimsical gardening. And uh, my hobbies are reading War and Peace and uh, oh, Anything by George Orwell. And I also love Katie Price's books. Mm. Uh, but I hate hats, foundation, eyeliner, and adamant. And I also have a strange fondness for ice. Um, anyway, I'm in love with short men, uh, preferably over 60, um, <laughs> with, with an oil refinery, and uh, I like them terminally ill. I find that really sexy. Um, beards are a must. Okay, beards are a must. I, I can't actually stress that enough. I have, they have to have a big one, preferably over a foot long, um, and I'm, but I'm not a gold digger. Never. Um, anyway, uh, I I don't like any hair except for beards. I like my men bald. I, bald. Mm. And um, oh, but unless the man looks like a lady, um, if they look like a lady, I can kind of I can just you know I can justify it. I think that feminine late men are so sexual, like they're not bothered about you know which gender to look like. I think it's I think it's really impressive. Mm. But um. Anyway, um, yeah, so I, 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 like, I like looking in the mirror a lot, and um, with the interpretive dance, you can't ask. Okay, do you enjoy your work? Uh, yes, I do, actually. Um, you know, stripping, there's just something new about it, you know, there's something, I don't think people just quite realise how much of an art it is. Go with your interpretive dance degree. Ah uh, yes, well I, I, I like I like I kinda like to um change them around, yeah, mix it around, you know. I often get, you know, uh, a zebra or a donkey or some kind of equine involved, you know. We <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> Yeah, like you know, not they're usually mannequins because you know, health and safety these days, but like you know You heard about that woman, didn't you? Yeah, well that was in our strip joint. You know, uh, she got badly mauled, and uh, yeah, the media. But um, oh, I hate chicken. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, and um, yeah, you know that 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 um, new film. No, no, no. Uh, musical with um, you know, Harry Potter in it. That was based on um, one of the uh, interpretive dances I created. Quite impressive. Uh, any questions? So, what about whimsical gardening? Do you like most? Well, I I like the whimsical part. I think the whimsical part is uh, <laughs> is good. I'm not too sure about the actual gardening bit, but I love I love that it's whimsical. Do you even have a garden? I have a patio. Okay, and um, what kind of finance range are you looking for? Well, it has to be into at least five figures, really. I mean six but um five figures is definitely a must really i mean nothing nothing lower but i'm not a gold digger um just to get that across i'm or not or a prostitute no 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 you know the sleeping with the customers is just completely you know if i feel like it awesome um Bye. what's your view on children from three marriages um, yeah, whatever. You know, they can come along too to the strip joint. I'm not really that bothered as long as they, you know, carry a blindfold with them. No, I mean for your prospective partner. Oh, what, they they have children? Mm. Um, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, so just in summary, you're looking for a terminally ill man over 60 who's bald with a beard yep. and no children to pass on his wealth. Okay marry him. Mm -hmm. And no other gold digger. Oh no, no, I, I completely disagree with that kind of thing. Okay. Alright, so, alright.
thanks for that. Um, we'll be in touch if you, if you, if there are any decent prospective blah blah prospective partners. Thank so you. yeah, okay. Bye.